Welcome to the Rare History Channel. Top 9 Short-Lived Inventions That Changed the World In a world of short-lived inventions, today's gadgets and fads become tomorrow's relics, sometimes by accident, often by design. 200 years of industrial society have changed the world beyond recognition. But many radical technologies of the past have been quite short-lived, reflecting changing social realities, production methods, and cultural obsessions. Number 1. The Bathing Machine The idea of organized leisure took hold in England during the Industrial Revolution. Belief in the healthy properties of sea air encouraged the rise of the modern summer vacation, but sea bathing became a dilemma in the face of emerging Victorian prudishness. To discourage intimacy between bathers of opposite sexes, beaches became gender segregated, and bathing machines soon crowded England's fashionable resorts. These enclosed cabins allowed for changing into the conservative bathing suits of the day and could be wheeled into the surf, preventing unsightly displays of naked flesh. As late as 1911, signs at one English seaside town warned that no female over eight years shall bathe from any machine except within the bounds marked for females, and bathing dresses must extend from the neck to the knees. But as the 20th century progressed, the once scandalous practice of mixed bathing became widely accepted. The bathing machine became a throwback, but without this quaint contraption, the beloved English seaside holiday might never have endured. Number 2. Hydrogen Airships Forget airplanes. For much of the 20th century, gas bags were the future of flight, or more precisely, dirigible, steerable, powered airships, filled with the lightest, most abundant element on Earth, there was just one problem, hydrogen burns. The age of transatlantic airships met a fiery end in 1937, when the 800-foot Zeppelin Hindenburg crashed in New Jersey, killing 36 people on board. Though helium gas is a safer alternative, it was too rare and expensive to keep airship travel afloat. Curiously, hydrogen airships may be looking at a revival, at least for freight. A 2019 scientific paper envisioned new airships 10 times larger than the Hindenburg carrying huge cargoes in the upper atmosphere. These projected megaships would be unmanned drones, constructed from modern fire retardant materials such as carbon fiber. The benefits in terms of greenhouse gas reduction would be great, but it remains to be seen if this bold vision will take flight. Number 3. The Maxim Gun Whatever happens, we have got the Maxim Gun and they have not, was the gruesome boast of the British Empire, describing its ultimate weapon of conquest. The world's first recoil-operated machine gun was invented by American Hiram Maxim in 1884 and transformed the face of warfare. Future Prime Minister Winston Churchill witnessed its murderous power at the 1894 Battle of Omdurman. His small British force routed 40,000 Sudanese warriors who sank down in tangled heaps before the Maxim gun's withering fire. After five hours, some 10,000 Sudanese were killed, with only 20 British dead. Though prone to jamming and eventually phased out by more efficient weaponry, the Maxim gun remained in Western military service through World War I, the first major conflict where opposing armies slaughtered each other with automatic fire. Number 4. Daguerreotype Photography New is not always better when it comes to technology. A case in point is the daguerreotype, invented by Frenchman Louis Daguerre in 1839. Like Samuel Morse, Daguerre began his career as a professional painter, but fascination with the science and technology of optics led him from the studio to the laboratory. There he invented the world's first successful photographic technique, which in key respects remains unmatched even by today's digital photography. Each daguerreotype was produced using a silver-plated copper sheet infused with iodine vapors, noxious mercury fumes, then finally stabilized with salt water or sodium thiosulfate. Every image was unique, and being unpixelated, astounding in resolution, by contrast, even high-res digital imagery becomes distorted by magnification. Tragically, Daguerre's studio burned down in 1839, claiming the bulk of his records and many early images. Today only around two dozen confirmed photographs by Daguerre survive, including landscapes, portraits, and still lives. Then, around the mid-19th century, the daguerreotype started losing ground to the negative-based wet collodion process, invented in 1851, the year Daguerre died. This new technique produced a cheaper, more reproducible end product, 
poorer in quality but more convenient. Number 5. The Electric Telegraph. Few devices changed the world as rapidly as the electric telegraph. On May 24, 1844, inventor Samuel Morse tapped out an encoded message before an astonished crowd of Washington lawmakers who had gathered for the demonstration. Forty miles away, his assistant in Baltimore received the biblical text by wire, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, what hath God wrought? Morse had invented the world's first instantaneous technology of communication. A religious man, he later claimed that the first message baptized the American telegraph with the name of its author, in other words, God. The telegraph rose in tandem with America's railroads and hastened the Industrial Revolution, triggering the demise of the renowned Pony Express, among other unintended consequences. But in 1876, another invention eclipsed Morse's remarkable technology. The age of the telephone had arrived. Number 6. The Mulling Hansen Writing Ball. Though collected by enthusiasts, the manual typewriter is as obsolete as the quill pen. Hard to imagine, then, the appeal these clunking devices once enjoyed. The first commercial model was the Mulling Hansen Writing Ball, invented in Copenhagen, Denmark, in 1865. A squat curiosity resembling a mechanical hedgehog, the Writing Ball was the MacBook Pro of its day. Its biggest fan was German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche, whose poor eyesight prompted him in 1881 to purchase a more efficient means for his prolific writing. Number 7. VHS Recording. For those of a certain generation, few technologies are as nostalgic as the VHS cassette tape, developed in 1970s Japan. Like Edison's phonograph, VHS was multi-purpose, retailed in pre-recorded format or blank tape suitable for recording the Dukes of Hazard over your sister's graduation ceremony. Like other relics on this list, VHS is still prized by enthusiasts, and its decline came later than we often remember. American consumers encountered the sleek DVD in 1997, but both formats coexisted for several years until the demise of mass VHS production. An August 2005 Washington Post article thus proclaimed that VHS has died at the age of 29, while noting that 94.7 million U.S. households still owned VCR players. Later that year, Revenge of the Sith became the first Star Wars movie released exclusively in DVD home video format. Ironically, 2005 also introduced cult horror movie The Ring 2, reprising the basic premise of 2003's original The Ring, which revolved around a haunted VHS recording. Let's face it, a haunted DVD wouldn't have scared anyone. Number 8. The Calculator Watch. Back in the 80s, nothing said it's hip to be square like owning a calculator watch. These gadgets were around since the 1970s, part of a broader craze that included wrist-portable TV and video games. But Casio's data bank line launched in 1983 propelled them to new heights. Iconic status was assured two years later, when Marty McFly sported his Casio Databank CA53W Twincept in Back to the Future, 1985. Casio's Databank line is still manufactured today, to the delight of Generation Zers. The calculator watch became more of a retro fashion statement than a practical device, but has outlasted that other tech icon of Back to the Future, the short-lived DMC DeLorean sports car. And for better or worse, the Casio databank anticipated today's mania for Fitbits, Google smartwatches, and other wearable technology. Number 9. The Atomic Bomb. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds, nuclear scientist Robert Oppenheimer, witnessing the first atomic bomb test, July 16, 1945. Historians still debate whether the 1945 destruction of Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of World War II was justified, or simply wanton destruction. But one terrifying fact remains, the atomic bombs which killed some 200,000 Japanese civilians pale beside later weapons of mass destruction able to kill millions in a flash. Scientists from the U.S. Manhattan Project, which developed the A-bomb, were among the first to warn against the still deadlier hydrogen, or H-bomb. In a September 1945 letter, physicist Arthur Compton even argued that he preferred defeat in war to victory obtained at the expense of the enormous human disaster that would be caused by its determined use. 
Time will tell how long the age of nuclear weaponry endures and how it ends.